Hi guys, we are back again with another uh, video showing you how to create your own Forex robots, automated trading systems, Forex EAs, trading software, whatever people call um, these things. And to do this, you actually don't need to know any programming. You don't need to be an expert in programming with MQL4. For MetaTrader 5 or MQL4 for MetaTrader 4. Uh, you just need an EA builder like this and there are many of these EA builders online that you can use and if you go on this channel there are many videos that I've done showing you how to use um, I, I guess uh, some of uh, the EA builders that are out there and they are for free. Uh, you can build your EAs for free. You can basically transform any trading strategy into a Forex robot without any coding skills for free. Okay, so once you're finished with this video, you can always uh, go and see some of those videos on this channel. So today we are using FX Dreamer. We are using FX Streamer. It's one of the popular EA builders uh, out there. To uh, use it for uh, MetaTrader 4 uh, systems, it's actually free. You can build uh, MetaTrader 4 uh, robots, uh, trading systems and stuff uh, for free. But if you want to build uh, robots for MetaTrader 5, you have to pay as the uh, uh, it's, it's a pittance uh, that you're uh, going to have to pay if you think about it, but um, you just have to pay a small sum uh, Which if you decide to sell your robot you can easily recover So I've seen many uh, traders uh, that are going the MT5 route because MT5 is the future of MetaTrader the platform but you cannot dispute the popularity of MetaTrader 4, so we're still fine with uh, MetaTrader 4. So in this video, we are going to turn a stochastic strategy, basic stochastic strategy into an EA, into an automated trading system. system. And I just want to basically show you how you can basically do that. Again, a uh, disclaimer, do this at your own risk. Um, uh, treat this as entertainment. I'm just uh, putting out the disclaimer out there because we're talking about people's money here. So uh, treat this as just entertainment and is nothing more than that. Okay, but uh, if you do learn one or two things in this video, uh, please consider liking the video, uh, share it with your friends, uh, get them to subscribe on our channel to watch the videos. Maybe they will also learn how to turn their strategies into what into uh, forex robots if you have any questions and anything that you want me to work on uh, leave it in the comment section below i'll try to turn your strategy into a robot and show you how to do that okay um let's get into uh, today's uh, video so first of all uh, if you go to fx streamer just uh, if you haven't been to fx streamer just google fx dreamer it's fx d r w e m a dot com you won't miss it you can or you can actually google F fx streamer you won't miss it so once you go in there you might see there's a lot of stuff uh an example uh robot uh or right in the section you can simply highlight everything, you right click it, and you delete. Uh, then we start again on a fresh uh, workspace, uh, like what I'm doing here. So there are ways that you can actually do this. Some people uh, prefer to set their constants uh, here. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you cannot do that. Uh, it's, it depends on you. Uh, the setting of the uh, constants here, it means that you can actually have uh, the input box. You can have the input box when you already load it onto um, MetaTrader 4. You can still, without uh, having the 
constants uh, uh, section there, you can still have inputs in MetaTrader 4. So it's just a basic uh, thing of preferences. But anyway, I don't want to take the whole day. Let's uh, get into how we can turn a basic uh, stochastic uh, strategy into a Forex robot. So first of all, you need to be on the on tick section. Because we want this robot to uh, to start trading uh, based on the ticks that are coming into our uh, system, into our chart. So the first thing that I would uh, recommend that you do is actually to go to this uh, section. This is the section where we get uh, blocks to build our robots. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping. So what we want to do is... We want to grab this thing that says once per bar because what we want to do is our robot to search for the conditions that we are going to set uh, at every bar open. We want to, to just once per bar say, see if the conditions are present. We don't want to, to continuously uh, searching uh, on that bar because usually that uh, results in thousands of trades as long as that bar is open. But we want it to happen once per every new bar. It just checks if the conditions are there. If they are not there, then we move or we wait for the next bar. So once we set our once per bar, if you just double click and go in there, we can you can change. You can make it. You can put in your symbol if you just want this robot to to trade a specific symbol. You can put in your symbol, or if you want to trade a specific time frame, you can put it in your time frame. Uh, but otherwise, nothing really major that you need to worry about in here. You can just uh, maybe uh, take this, but uh, we don't really need uh, uh, this. We might need it with other blocks, but uh, not with this one. So we go then to the section where it says uh, conditions conditions so now we are going to put in our um, buy condition our buy condition uh, our stochastic we are going to base it on a basic uh, stochastic condition we, the stochastic will be let's just go in there so you go in here and you can see we have indicator that's what we want moving average there are many uh, indicators that you can actually choose so what you just want is stochastic there that's our stochastic and this is usually the uh, uh, the standard or the default uh, setting on stochastic so but you can tick this so that you can what you can change it without coming back to fx streamer you can change it in metatrader um, 4 um, so you can take that so that you don't have to come back here i already said that i'm repeating myself i apologize and so what we want is when the stochastic 5 uh, crosses let's say uh, because it's going to cross from below coming back into um, our middle or going back up we want it to actually cross a level so what we just need is we are going to pick this uh, not equal to because we are not going to use an indicator but we are going to use a value so here is a value here is a numeric value so we are going to set it at 20 that's the usual that people set uh, with stochastic well let's just check that so when our stochastic 5 closes uh, it goes above um, the level 20 we want it to open a buy that's what we are saying with this condition we want it to open a buy you can see some more settings there if you want to set a specific a specific uh, pair that you want this thing to trade and stuff like that but anyway don't worry about that for now then we just update now what we want to do is to connect these blocks that's how we do it now because that's our buy we are going to choose a buy now these conditions that we set in here double click 
if these conditions are met we want our robot to buy to open a buy now in our robot double click in our buy uh, we are going to set uh, a, fi a fixed volume or you can set whatever all these options but we're going to go with fixed volume so it can be 0 0.110 default there or you can just tick it there so that you can change it um, in metatrader uh, 4 without coming back to fx streamer and here you can set your stop loss and your take profit uh, just decide on how much is enough for you i'm just ticking that so that i don't have to come back here but otherwise uh, you can set uh, how, my, how many pips uh, take profit you want how many pips uh, stop loss uh, that you want okay then we just update then importantly we are also going to uh, take another block um is that block with um because we want uh trading actions close it's that's the block that i'm looking for what we want is this condition when it's met we want the robot because this is a buy condition we want the robot to immediately when this condition is met the condition for a buy is met we want the robot to actually close any sell trades so we are going to write double click in there and we are going to say filter by type so what we are going to do is we are going to close sales that's how we are going to close sales just update and we are going to link it like that so the moment uh, our conditions are met we are going to close sales and we are going to open buys for our sell trades it's just going to be the opposite of what uh, this uh so let's see if we are able to just uh copy these uh blocks um and we are going to paste them like that uh and we are going to let's uh, do this so that we try to have some some neatness i'm trying to have some neatness there but i'll have to remove this block uh, okay so we start with this one uh, we are going to double click now here we want it to close the buys because now it's going to, to what to open sales let's so i could have interrupted i apologize for that uh where were we uh, i think we're going to put in our sale order i apologize for that then we'll go and we get our cell block there and we again do the same and double click and you can see we can just uh, tick uh, that and that otherwise everything remains the same and update and again what's left to do is to what to link uh, that so that's basically all uh, did we edit our condition uh, i don't think we edited our condition yes so now what we're going to just do is to change our condition to um to 80. when when our stochastic uh, crosses the 80 uh, level then it's actually going to what to close any buy trades and it's going to open a sell trade so that's basically how you are going to tackle a stochastic trading robot if you learned one or two things in this video just consider uh, liking the video and again uh, subscribe so that you do not miss future videos so that's uh, basically all that you need to create a stochastic based uh, robot in fx streamer and you come here we can actually name it whatever we want today is wednesday we can call it wednesday robot
take the EX4 file if you want to share it with people but you don't want them to see your code. Otherwise, that's it for today. If you have any questions, if you have any strategy that you want us to turn into a Forex robot using FX Streamer, leave your ideas in the comment section below. Until next time, bye.